All right, guys, they're playing a Volivir top lane in the newest split. We're playing a Volivir this game, a versus Mordekaiser. And for the runes, we got PDA, Triumph, Alacrity, Last End, Demolish, and then most importantly, we got Bone Plate. Also got a D ring for playing very aggressive this game. So, with Lead of Tempo being gone, we are now playing with PDA instead. And um, this is actually not something that I'm, you know, very sad about, to be honest with you. Because PDA Volibear is something that I used to play like many times before uh, before I even start playing Little Tempo. PDA on Volibear is actually very nice since you have like a lot of uh, autos, a lot of attack speed. I'll take this fight. Play this potion immediately too. And we got him. So Volibear, the way how you play him is honestly incredibly, incredibly simple. The way how you play Volibear, it's like imagining yourself playing Darius, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna be uh, trying to auto Q. You're gonna try to use your E, uh, hitting him and gaining the shield. And then you try and use your passive. It's very simple. That's why I've been recommending him so much. So you try and keep this stacked, right? You try and make you try and utilize the pass as much as you can. So Volibear is one of the strongest level one, two, and three you can play because of your E. Like this, this ability is incredibly broken. And then if you use your Q in combo with E, you can basically hit the stun and then hit your E for free. So that's how you do it. Now we already start off with item advantage. This guy just died against me. Uh, I do not have my ignite anymore so that's something to be aware of but if you're paying close attention to the map we have my jungler pathing top again so knowing that this guy just died right now this guy has zero vision okay so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna ping like this he's got zero vision okay we just killed him before so we're gonna kill him again very good i, ca I can kill him by myself very nice very nice this is like a snowball effect right here. Every time you beat your opponent straight away in the first couple levels, that usually means that your opponent does not have any kind of vision because they are being pushed in. So if your jungler is pathing top and you're aware of these things, you should always ping your jungler immediately because you can easily get another kill for free, right? Pay attention to these things, guys. Let your jungler be aware of, you know, of your lane having no vision. You can easily get kills like that. Alright, so uh, what we're going to do is we will instantly buy Berserker's Greaves this game. And also Country Ward. So what we're going to do this game is uh, we are going for the AP version. So just to point something out, like with the new patch being here, the new split, tank items got buffed quite a bit. Now, I would still honestly go AP Volibear. I'll be real with you guys. Like, Tank Volibear is very nice. And it's probably something that you can do. But if you want to carry the game, I would always recommend AP Volibear much more. AP Volibear is honestly the better version for snowballing the game. Tank Volibear is nice, but like, you have to rely on your teammates a bit more. Because you're very slow with split pushing. Or at least you're much slower with split pushing. I don't like that. AP Volibear, you have a lot of damage. And it just allows you to play a much more aggressive, more like an assassin, right? It's just more worth it. Okay. We keep going. I'm stronger because I have more items. That's fine. If he walks off, it's okay. It's fine. What I'm going to do is I'll force this out. And this will force Mordekaiser to stay in that lane. If he walks out, he will lose the farm. And if he loses the farm, I win. There you go, look at this. So we're not killing him, which is fine. It's okay. He's losing the cannon wave. That's great. This is very good for me. So it's okay if he doesn't, you know, if he survives, it's fine. No, nothing to worry about. And let's go back here. Huh? Alright, so what we're going to do now, we can actually complete the Berserker's Grease for attack speed. But what we can also do is we can start building into uh, Nash's Tooth immediately. So we just build that one. 
I like going for this item because it provides 25 AP, but most importantly, it provides ability haste since we're like winning top lane very hard. I think it's a good call to go for a, uh, ability haste so I can actually spam a lot more. It all comes down to my QE in this matchup, so. Let's take a look right here. He's going... Okay, he's, this guy is unfortunately going for Bramble. At least, like, he's trying to cut the healing. Which is a smart idea. The only thing is that it provides armor. So he's cutting the healing in half, but he's also going armor. So it's not... It's not the worst, I would say. Definitely not. He does have the ultimate right now, and Mordekaiser ultimate kind of beats my ultimate if he gets into it. Kind of depends on how I use my own ultimate. But it's something to be aware, uh, be careful about. We have my jungler up here. It's going to be much more challenging now because he has the ability to press R. So if he can get rid of it, that would be very good. Yeah, I... I, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, I'll try and keep my passive stacked here. Okay. This is good. So we, the jungler got uh, got away, which is okay with me. Like this is this is fine, because I'm not losing the wave this way. This is very good for me. It doesn't matter that my jungler died, because um, it's better if jungler's int than the lane itself, right? Like, unless, like, the jungler is worth, like, 1,000 gold or something like that. Like, or something crazy, right? Some some crazy value. It is better if the top laner survives than the jungler. Because top laner can, like, shove the wave in, get all of the XP, and then walk out. So, it's always better if the top laner lives. Jungle doesn't lose anything if they die, usually. Hey, Bobber, thank you much for the subprime, man. Thank you for the subprime. Also, Joar, thank you for the two years. Thank you, man. Two years. That's a long time. Nice number. 24 months. All right. The wave is pushing into me, which is great because it allows me to get my passive ready. I'm not trying to stack it too quickly. I'm actually looking for uh, an all-in again. I got my ignite ready. The only thing that I don't have is my ultimate, but that's okay because Mordekaiser also does not have ult. So it's not that, you know, big of a problem. Let's uh, keep holding it like this. Alright. I'm just kind of waiting for him to move forward. So soon enough, we will get into the next stage with Volibear, which is like pushing top lane and like uh, pushing between towers and like getting jungle camps. Because uh, one thing that Volibear has, which other champions do not have, is like the passive, right? The passive is something that you can't really control. Like once it's being activated, it will auto push the wave out, which is not good for your lane. So the way how you can actually uh, utilize it a lot more is if you are, you know, standing between towers and you just force the waves in constantly and then use that passive to uh, to wave clear twice as quickly. So even though it's got like a, a... It's got a bad thing about the passive, it also has good things about the passive for sure. Wait, where's the... Hold up. Okay. That's what I'm worried about. That's what I was worried about. See what I'm talking about? That's Mordegazer right there. I was... Uh, I, w I wanted to originally QE um, when he was being stunned, but I was waiting to see where the Mordekaiser E was going to be. He never used it for some reason. He decided to keep it. So I messed up. He doesn't have ult though, so we can actually kill him. I'm asking my jungler if he can bait. Okay. Alright. <laughs> the bait has failed. <laughs> I was asking my jungler for bait, but uh, it's, it didn't work. 
Where did he go? Nah, don't tell me he walked all the way back, right? He actually walked all the way back. Nah, all right. Oh, well, we have to force those plates down immediately. I think I'm probably being ganked at some point. I could have ulted them. Nice. I think I might force turret. Uh, this will be very close, to be honest. Very good. Outplayed. I sidestepped the Mordekaiser Q, otherwise I was 100% dead. Now I gotta run for my life, because I think I'm being ganked. I am so glad I turned it around, like immediately. Got that one. Uh, next item we are building is uh, definitely going to be a Rift Maker this game. We can also decide to go into Cosmic Drive, which is like a really nice item here. I think I might even do that. It's like a very... It's a risky item setup for sure. However, it provides movement speed, which I need. It provides ability haste, HP, and AP. It's actually a really nice item, but it's also a bit of a risky one, because if I, I can also just go Rift Maker. Okay. So, the, now the problem is, is that Mordekaiser has ultimate, and I don't have my own ultimate. His ultimate is actually, uh, uh, or at least my ultimate is at least 50 seconds, and my Ignite is also... Uh, maybe he can bait it. If he gets the ultimate out. Oh, nice. I, I sidestep. I win. I uh, sidestepped his uh, Q again, so it actually didn't apply. Very good. You just gotta bait out the Bornicaster ult from time to time. I'm moving from the top side. Uh, okay. Red. I didn't fall for it. Eh? He's not going for it? He doesn't seem interested in, in diving that stuff? Okay. Oh, there's also a Zyra up here. Oh. That's interesting. So the cat arena was scared when there was a Zyra right there? Hmm. Yeah, got him. Very good. He does not have a country ward. Nah, he, he does not have a country ward. Definitely not. Let's push this. I love PDA on Volibear. Like, this is just as great as Lido Tempo is. I am not missing anything this game. I'm liking it, actually. There's probably a ward here. He's not showing up for some reason. Like, could he be? Yeah. He apparently was there the entire time, just waiting for me to show. I'm just pushing it, walking back. Eh, what? What is this? He's running fast, man. <laughs> okay. I will not win this. Uh, no. <laughs> I love Volibear, man. Let's go. I love Volibear. This is why. This is exactly why, guys. Look at this, man. 1v9 ing the entire top lane. Let's go. PDA Volibear doing his job. I'm gonna walk away. I'll listen to the pings carefully. I know that Katarina's missing. I believe my team. All right, we, uh, we got my Cosmic Drive. The next item I'm probably building right now is... There you go. Uh, the next item I'm building... I'm thinking of just going Rift Maker, to be honest. I need Rift Maker. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going Rift Baker. I will do it. Okay, we uh we are too far ahead of the enemy team. We are very, very strong. We can, in theory, also go Zania and then counter Kane with it. But, like, Kane is just one pro... Kane is, like, one part of the problem, if that makes sense. Like, Kane is not the issue this game. It's actually all of their AP. That is... I don't know if he will overextend here, necessarily. I don't know where he's gonna go. I suspect he's going to move forward here, so he's going to come around the corner. Nice. I really want to go tower, but I am not going to force that tower because I don't know what's behind it. Like, there could be more people. Yeah, there's already a Mordekaiser, so... Let's go down bot lane again. Uh, that dragon is probably gone. I don't think we can change it. Ooh. Well. It's not that bad. I don't want to dive in by myself. Wait, I'm getting CC'd. Hold on. Oh, okay. There's a Mordecaster right there. Oh, he flashed across. Okay. Yeah, I still had my E. I didn't use my E right there. Let's go down ball lane again. And we will have tower. Next. Oh, it doesn't beat me. Don't mess with the ball of beer, my man. It's not a good idea. Don't do it. Especially if it's an AP ball of beer, you're not going to mess with him. <laughs> okay. So, let's uh, go into Rift Maker, and then after Rift Maker, I think I'm going to go Zonia and We have four items now. The fun thing is that we can also eventually replace my boots and get like Zephyr. Although I think that Zephyr is not a good idea here. But uh, maybe it is actually. But we'll see once we get to the late game. Because it's not something I'm going to build if, if I still have like item slots available. Definitely get it last. Okay. Yeah, there's probably more people chasing me down, so I'm walking away. I don't want to fi uh, fight to Mordekaiser if I don't see anybody. That doesn't seem like a good idea. Right, so yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I have, like, ult in... Uh... Uh, it should be here... I got him. Great. Let's go back top lane. And tower it is. I think I might be able to get another one possibly. You're pretty fast. I uh, got him. I had my flash in one second from now. Like, that's the worst part. I was so close to getting flash. I could have outplayed him easily, but whatever. That's okay. Um, the next item that we are building, I think it's a good idea if we go Zonia. Um, however, there is another item that I can buy, which is actually Banshee. This might be a good idea in their team comp. I think I'm going to build it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. Yeah, let's actually go ahead and do it. I'll just go for the AP for now. Or just sell this. Nah, never mind. 
No, I'll just take this. We're gonna go Banji, and then last item will be either Zania or Rabidans. What are the two? The dragon will spawn in 50, uh, 55. I got my ult, Night Flash, I got everything ready. We will, uh, we will definitely win this team fight. I still got old, but I can't use it. Wow. That Katarina is super strong, man. Hmm. I had, uh, I had my ultimate, but there was no way to use it um, uh, in a good way. Like, I wanted to try and use ult in the best moment where I could hit like three, four people at once, but they were all separated, so I didn't want to use it yet. It's bad that we lost that stuff. I'll go for Banshee now. Yeah, I think my last item... Let me check. Let me check some numbers here. Yeah, it was mostly Katarina. Katarina did 2,400. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, that Katarina needs to die first next time. Has to. All right, we're gonna we're gonna run mid lane. We'll do another team fight because the wa the waves on the side lanes are not good. I will roar the world. Feli is up there. Okay, just reset. So must it be. It's a good chance that everything is uh, probably uh, probably being warded. Okay, never mind. Would have been an insane catch, to be honest with you. At least the Mordekaiser is dead. We have Ash split pushing bot lane, which is very bad. Okay. Good luck to my teammate. You got that ultimate? I don't know what Zyra's thinking. How does this guy think he's gonna beat me? Hmm. Oh, I was pressing R. I, I, oh, I think I still got him. Yeah, okay, there we go. I needed this. Is the enemy team trolling or what? Like, we are literally finishing the game here. Oh, I guess I'm dead. Unfortunate. I was pretty close to surviving that, to be honest. Like, we actually had... Um, when we were splitting top and we were getting everything done, my teammates were getting chased down by the enemy team, and there was, like, an Aphelius, like, farming bot lane. That's why I went for the dive, because... I think if I killed that Mordecai, I, I think I could have possibly turned on uh, Kane too. You know? That's just, that was my idea. <laughs> I felt like the enemy team was trolling, honestly. Alright, so let's go into, uh, let's go into Zani. I'm just gonna go for, take the AP now. Zani, I will fix a lot of problems we have against Kane. And also, uh, Athalius. Let's go. Got the blue trinket. Uh, two people are top lane, so we need to fight this. Yeah, perfect. We need, like, we need people to defend top lane. Let's see how far we can get. Only Katarina is gone at the moment. Uh, 
Uh, there's probably not much we can do. Hmm. Oh. Right. This game is pretty tough. Like the... I wish I had ultimate at that specific time. I didn't. I had to rely on the walk around the corner. This Aphelius is just as fat as I am. That's the um, problem. He pressed ghost, so it was he could just kite me down. There's nothing I could do. Let's go. Got my Zonia. We're maxed out. We just need to replace my boots now. Get Rabidans. That's the main objective. Hmm. If my teammates will push mid, they can prepare dragon. They're gonna go for Mordecai, sir? Alright. The ash arrow. That ash arrow kind of mattered because the ultimate is... Uh, I mean the ultimate. The dragon is like spawning very soon. I need my teammates to be ready for dragon then. I think maybe we can push mid, actually. Let's see if we do it. The dragon is kind of a problem. Yeah, that dragon is gone, unfortunately. I was trying to uh, kill these people so that we have uh, better numbers. My the of the world. But yeah, that's obviously not working, as you can see. Like, we still lost the... Uh, <laughs> we still lost this. We actually managed to kill the Zyra and almost the Katarina too, but I think that she backed and pressed teleport. That's how she managed to get f uh, full HP again. I think that she's not alone. Probably not. Oh. Very good. Let's retry. Yeah, we need to get that Baron down for sure. This Baron is the way, is the answer to this game. Very good. Hopefully I can maybe get Rabidans, but I kind of doubt it. I don't know if we will. So my plan is I'm going to try and ult uh, all five people during a team fight. That's the plan. If I can do this, I can do like 5,000 damage within one ability. That's my plan. I hope it's gonna work. Oh, well. They've just got some combos. Hmm. Okay, I try my best. <laughs> I try so I, I tried to like uh, jump in, uh, try to kill the Ophelias, didn't work out. I actually got ulted. The worst part is that, uh, yeah, I think this game's over. I tried to hit all five when I get out of the Mordecai's world. I saved my ability for this moment. Uh, I think that my teammates can still turn this. Maybe. This is an ability that didn't hit during my combo. Yeah. Right. 
I think I'm gonna go ball anyway. Team fighting is not going the way how it's planned. We are actually managing to 1v9 every single team fight, but like it's still not enough. And I'm still a mile away from like obtaining my item. It's so far away. Like I, it's at least 1.3 or 1.4. grab this too anything to like speed up the process of getting my item i'll uh, i'll do it i need to get rabbinance i think it's a big power spike in this game so i need like one more one more wave maybe uh, maybe a jungle camp or something I my path with blood and bone. wonder where the enemy team is at Hold up. I might be able to... Oh. Okay. Okay. Serious? Oh, man. How fed is Kane exactly? Oh, okay. He's also like full build. I got my item now. I just don't have my, uh, my potion. Hmm. This game is too too difficult to play out. The Aphelios is full built. This guy is almost full built, and this guy is almost full built. Uh, in comparison with my team, my teammates have like two uh, two items, two items, three, four items. That's the thing. Like they have like I think if if I look at the tab, I think there's like a like a two three item diff. We are full. We are maxed out though. We have all six items already, but. I'll spawn in like 15, but I don't know if my uh, hack room is going to work. I need like 10 seconds and I'll spawn. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm there now. I'm able to turn things around, hopefully. Really, I missed up. Yeah, okay, GG. There's nothing I can do. They they, they have like multiple champions on at max build. It's too much. Alright. Hey, either way, this is uh Volibear top lane. Thank you so much for watching today's Volibear video. I'll see you next time. Peace.